What's up gang, Kawaii50 here with another fake grand order video, and I didn't expect to make this video for about another year, but here we are. Servant coins are coming to FGO and a very, very early. I just wanted to go ahead and give you a quick primer as well as give you some resources for when the servant coin update finally drops on May 23rd. I'm going to go ahead and try and keep this evergreen like I usually do with all of my servant spotlights. I started including a pen skills, things with servant coins for a while now, and it looks like that gamble has paid off. So hopefully this video helps you out with serving coins, a pen skills, yada, yada, yada. And if it does, be sure to go ahead, like, and subscribe. So what are servant coins? Well, servant coins are something you are going to get whenever you summon a servant, raise their bond, or they're a thing you get from event rewards as well. Servant coins are used in a couple of different ways. First, to increase a servant's append skills, which are new additional skills every character is going to get and also to level servants beyond level 100 all the way to level 120. Now, fair warning, getting a servant from level 100 to level 101 is basically the EXP equivalent of leveling up a servant all the way to level 100. So the EXP sinks are very, very heavy, and I personally do not recommend getting a servant to level 120 for gameplay reasons at all all level them up all the way to 120 if indeed you find that you really really like that character but this is absolutely not necessary for the vast majority of people that play this game so please consider that now let's move on to a pen skills i'm going to go ahead with the append skills for artoria since she is the poster girl for the fate franchise for this example now every single servant is going to get three append skills that are going to increase their combat capabilities the first skill is Extra Attack Finesse Improvement. This increases the attack of a Servant's Extra card when you're doing a Brave Chain. This also will increase things like Noble Phantasm Gain, Critical Star Drop Rate, pretty much all kinds of sweet little bonuses, but only if you're doing a Brave Chain. The second append skill is Mana Loading. This is the big one. This is the one I recommend you get on every single Servant whenever possible, because this is just starting the battle with a sweet 10 to 20% Noble Phantasm gauge. So with this max, you no longer need a max limit Broken Kaleidoscope to turn one NP. Very, very, very important. Please do this at all possible opportunities. And for the final append skill, this varies depending on the servant. This is an anti-specific class attack damage bonus. In Artoria's example, she increases her own attack against rider class enemies by 20 to 30 percent. For most servants, you are never going to need to touch this skill. There are very, very few servants in the game where they actually get a sweet bonus against a class that they actually have some sort of advantage against. In that scenario, you definitely want to level up that skill right after mana loading but like I said most of the time you will never ever touch this and finally let's go ahead and get to the big question which is how many servant coins do I need well I'm gonna go ahead and answer two of those questions for five star servants as well as event freebie servants beyond that I'm going to link a Google Doc down below that was posted by Toku Hero on the FGO subreddit this is a very 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 thorough breakdown of servant coins how many you need to do each specific thing and this is on a complete by rarity basis i do not claim ownership of this please give all bonuses over to toku hero and save this to your bookmarks so you can have a neat little thing to reference when it comes to servant coins getting launched when it comes to five star servants if you want to completely max everything on that servant that is level 120 with all three append skills you need to get that servant to a minimum of bond 12 and you need to pull six copies of that servant that's right six copies of a five star servant getting them to bond 12 so this is a very very expensive system 
odds are you will not be maxing everything. Now, for a more reasonable uh, notion, if you want to get a servant to a max plus one append skill at level 120, then you need a NP3 servant at bond 14. So I could do that with summer BB if I wanted. Most people aren't going to hit this level. If you're looking to just max a pen skills, then we are looking at two copies of that servant and also at bond 15. So you'll be able to at least do all the append skills if you were lucky enough to roll two copies of a five star servant. Fairly expensive. Now, when it comes to freebie servants, we actually got something fairly generous when it comes to servant coins. So using the Liz's as an example, all of them got a rerun on JP. So don't worry, Liz fans, your day is going to come very, very soon. You will end up getting a solid amount of servant coins. We got 480 servant coins for them from the event, and this is actually enough to max every single append skill you got 480 coins you only need 360 to max every single append skill so that is very very good when it comes to freebie servants if you want level 120 though well you're gonna have to go ahead you're gonna have to sink in some of that work get some of that bond up in order to get the rest of those coins but it is entirely manageable and it's pretty great so honestly when it comes to freebie servants a pen skills and maybe even level 120 are fairly manageable. So if you have a freebie servant that you really, really like, now might be the time to invest. And that's going to be it for me, gang. I just wanted to go ahead and give a quick primer of servant coins, let you know what skills you really want to focus on, and of course, give you all access to that sweet little resource so you can go ahead and plan out how you want to spend your servant coins. Please let me know down in the comments if you really think there is anything that I might have missed. And if you've got a servant that is first on your radar to max out a pen skills, maybe even get to level 120, go ahead and mention them down below as well. Let's go ahead and see uh, what the community's tastes are and who your primary target is for those servant coins. I'm of course going for Summer BB first and foremost. If you want to talk more FGO, my Discord server is, of course, always open. I want to give a big thanks to the patrons on Patreon, subscribers and followers on Twitch, and of course, all of you here on YouTube for giving me the motivation to continue making these videos. I really appreciate it. But anyways, gang, this is Kawaii50, hoping you all have a phenomenal day. I'll see y'all in the next video.